This will be a survival's guide to surviving the boss troll. From start of the dungeon to the very end. We're going to start with perks. Take Sharpshooter, Ranged Weapons Expert, Kinesthesia, and Nimble Hands. Now, since this is a survival's guide, you're going to want the field duration. This is going to heal you 25 HP three times in a dungeon. So you'll be able to use this up to three times. And then you want to quick shot. If you want to slay the boss as quick as possible, then you will want to replace the field duration for multi shot. This will cut the time probably in about, I would say maybe in half because of the fact that you have two DPS attacks instead of one. And also the fact that multi shot can refill your quivers without reloading, just like quick shot does. But uh, we don't need multi shot. Multi shot is in my opinion an overkill for the boss we just need field duration just in case if we get into trouble we have something that can help us survive in case we don't get the troll's blood as an emergency we have field duration for that the next thing is don't equip the bow that i have right now um i'm going to be working with the survival bow because of the fact that survival bow shoots faster than the recurve bow it has seven arrows and it also has a move speed of negative 30 instead of negative 40 like the recurve bow has. As you can see, a recurve bow here has negative 40 move speed. But the survival bow will have negative 30. So that means you move faster with it. It actually does help move a little bit faster if needed. Just in case you get caught as a ranger class where you um, aren't able to back up fast enough. Maybe you miss it by just, just an inch. This survival ball will actually get you out of that situation. Whereas if you had like the recurve ball, maybe you might die in that situation. So I'm taking survival ball. I chose green survival ball because nobody uses survival ball. So on the market, they go for super, super cheap. Like some guy on the market sold me about two survival balls for 20 gold. And I actually gave him 50 gold just because... I thought 20 gold was super cheap for him and to be honest, I, I wanted to give him 50 gold for, for two of them. So I gave him 50 gold for two survivables and I have this one and then here's the other one that I got from him. The plus three true physical damage. So yeah, they go for super cheap on the market because nobody buys them. So that's why, that's another thing that makes survivables so good for the boss as well. Alright, so with that being said, let's start. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be completely live commentary so I'm gonna start by going through here and I want to go up a couple of these stairs here because it's gonna lead me to the right to the boss room as long as I take this door right here to the right side and then I have to make another right turn here and down all right we're at the boss so I'm not gonna waste too much time here what I am gonna do is Plant a hunting trap right here. Okay, run with my bare hands. And now I'm going to plant another hunting trap right at the other door there. There's two hunting traps. Okay. If anybody comes through here when the boss is about to die, I will headshot them. Because I don't trust them. They're probably going to steal my loot. So, that's what we're going to do. At least they'll try to steal my loot. They'll have to fight for it, but, you know. We're gonna make things easy for us. Here we go. Now I'm gonna show you the power of the survival bullet. So you want to be close to the boss, but not super close. To the point where you can't get away from it, basically. Because you want to prevent the boss from doing his charge attack. And you want to try and jump back prevent him from hitting you a lot of the time. Okay, once we get one arrow left, I'm gonna recharge it without reloading. Instead, I'm gonna use quick shot to reload. Right, so we have zero arrows left. Let's get away from that attack there. We're too close. He'll, he'll kill us. Okay. Here we go. Get away from it. Be how, how I was close to the boss, 
but still far enough to run away from it. This prevented the boss from charging after it. So that's what I do. Okay. And I just want to keep firing faster. Let's get some shots off. Get some DPS going. Remember, we don't have multi-shots, so we have to try and be quick with our shots. Okay, let's get away from it. And jump, and jump, reload. Right now is the perfect time. Okay, I'm just gonna keep attacking here. Try to get the boss to attack me. Perfect. Duck that one, just in case. Oh, get away from that, get away! Yeah, I was too close, so I didn't want to do any more attacks. Okay, let's do a quick shot. And he's gonna do that attack. I'm gonna back up so I don't get hit by it, because he does a smash that pulls inside the circle around him. Now we want to get away. And a swing. Reload. Get him to attack. Try to bait out his attack right there. And keep attacking. Duck that. And get away from that. We're too close. We don't want to keep firing when C does that heavy attack. Eh, keep the pressure on. Let's go for a quick shot. Fire away at his head. All times. Okay, back it up. Keep firing. Keep firing. And oh, I had to reload, so let me bait out his attack. So I can reload. Duck that. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna keep firing. Yeah, duck that. And oh, perfect. And get away from it. Okay, quick shot. Train the head. Ooh, I missed one shot. That was my bad. Keep firing, keep firing. Oh, keep firing. Okay, let's reload. Jump and fire. Alright, back up. He's gonna do his stupid attack there. That attacks in a circle around him when he does that heavy attack. That smash attack. You will always want to back up away from that attack. You'll learn really fast why if you get caught. If you're too close to him. Okay, keep firing. We have two arrows left. One arrow left. And we gotta reload, so let's bait out his attack. And reload. Okay, perfect. Keep firing. One more shot and back up. Okay, keep going for the head. Going for the head. Keep going for the head. Deck that attack. Keep firing. Last shots. Duck. Keep firing. Back it up. Oh, get away from that. We're too close for comfort. Okay. Here we go. Shoot him. He should almost be dead now. So I'm just gonna pressure him really fast here. He should re be really close to dead. Duck that. Come on, dude, you have no life left. Seriously? How are you even still alive? Should die, this should be the last quiver for sure, 100%. There's no way it's not. Okay, two arrows. One arrow, and then just not dead yet. Let's uh, quick shot him. There you go. Wow. He was really taking those hits like a champ, eh? Holy fuck. No! I didn't mean to do <laughs> I just wasted a ration, dude. I have three rations and I just wasted one like an idiot. Let's grab all this stuff here. Okay, can I pick lock? No, I don't. Sometimes you don't need a pick lock for that, but... Oh boy. This time we do. Okay, let me just grab this really quick. We're gonna head for the, uh... We're gonna head for the secret exit. Hopefully, nobody's there. Let's see how many people have died from the feed. One, two... There's 11 people now instead of nine. Three... Uh, four, five... Six... Wow. Dude, there's like hardly anyone left. This should be really nice. I just want the, this to push more because I want that secret exit to open up. I grab this. Okay. We have one trap. 
So I should probably buy another one. Or no, another couple, maybe. Sometimes you don't need them, though, so maybe I won't. Okay, I think it's pushing pretty good here. I think that secret exit should open up. Because it doesn't look like there's many people left now. Like, it might be me and maybe one or two guys and that's it. Shouldn't be too bad. Alright, so we want to head this way. Okay. Make sure you follow exactly where I go. Oh wait, did I go the right way? Um, no, I fucked up. I went the wrong way. Uh, that's what I get for not paying attention that well. Hold on. It helped if I could see though, you know? There we go. Alright, this is the right way. It's hard to see through this freaking gas. It's not open yet. Right? So that means we can still go through here. Just gotta be patient. I'm gonna wait right here. Eh, I think it just opened. Or actually a portal opened, but that should open up well as well very soon. Let me eat up here. Okay. Let's let this push in. Okay, this should be open. You hear it open up? There we go. Re-exit, baby. Easy. Return to lobby. And let's take a look at what we got. Got the doublet. So I have two of these now. This one is actually shit. I'm actually going to sell this one. Magical healing and resourcefulness. This is the good one that I got here. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe I'll keep it in case I die. Then at least I have another good one, but I don't know. These two I'm going to sell for sure. Heater shield and hatchet. Okay, well... Let me just go to collector and sell the junk here. The jewelry. Alright. Stash this up. And that's going to conclude this video, guys. Thanks for watching. And... Hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.